One reason I choose watches like Rolex and Omega is because of the movement. So you can think of the movement as the beating heart of a watch. So we've got the mechanical movement. This is the most traditional form of watchmaking where the watch is powered completely by analog technology. When you wind the watch, you are tightening the mainspring. This coil slowly lets that energy out through unwinding, works its way down the gear train to the escapement which controls the release of energy. That's the long short of it. It's amazing engineering. The next great development was quartz. In 1969, the first quartz watch was released and it changed watchmaking forever. A cheaper, more accurate battery powered by quartz crystal. This is still the main battery you find in so many watches, from Swatch to Casio to this Cartier. Coming up to today where so many watch wearers are wearing an Apple watch or a Garmin. No one's wearing a tag connected, are they? Anyways, these are computers on your wrist with chipsets and OS systems.